is an emergency, I beg in urgency, this is a serious case, the way you're putting work on me, just like a surgeon when you operate that face. Hi, my name is Baron Samada the Alchemist. And thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. This video is going to be, I, I'm making this video because I wanted to be extremely helpful to you all during the holiday season. Uh, before I get into what I'm going to do, what I'm going to, before I get into what I'm going to do, I want to uh, apologize to you guys for not, for being, gone, for being gone about four to five months, not uploading any videos. I did some spiritual work for some people to which I talk about in a, another video and explain and explain how that worked, how that went. But I did a lot of, I did, I was doing some spiritual work for people I've met online on YouTube that contacted me and these people, they had a lot of issues going on. Granted, with my knowledge of the esoteric and uh, contacted various uh, YouTubers to does it help me out with this particular problem, man? My teacher and my personal teacher, you know, we got those people cleaned and fixed and we got their uh, situation taken care of. But the thing about it, and again, I'll talk about, I'll explain this a little bit more later on in another video. But these people who came with some really bad stuff to which they wasn't forthcoming to who they was dealing with or what they was dealing with. And it kind of took a toll on me, so I lost a little weight. I uh, a lot of catastrophe start happening around me, not to me per se, but around me, to which it affected me slightly. But you know, my spiritual energy is up so high, and my vibrations, and my meditation, and my diet, so it didn't affect me too much. But I knew something was wrong, and I just had to take a step back and get a couple of cleansings. And it took me about three months of meditating eating proper and cleaning myself and getting you know blessed from my teacher to finally feel healthy enough and vibrant enough to start back making videos and now i'm i'm at that point i can do that so thank you guys for that for listening to that kind of boring brief interlude but so right now let's get into this what i'm about to do for you guys is i'm i'm about to show you guys I'm finna do a. I'm finna show you guys how to do a spell, and the spell is called a, a sinning tree. There's only one mention of this sinning tree online, and it's from a, a Japanese cartoon, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, and it's and it goes nothing like the folklore. But let me tell you, this this ritual, this spell, was taught to me by my grandma again. My grandma Barbated Bar. I mean, Bayesian, babe, strong woman, just love her. She taught me a lot of this stuff, and she taught me about a sinning tree and how you shouldn't accept gifts from people. And this, let's face it, I chose this poinsettia plant because I don't know. I never got one of these. I never received one of these things myself. But it is said that everybody gives these things to everybody on the holidays. And would you know that sometimes people can be malicious enough to give these things to you with a curse? This is how a sinning tree works. Now, in folklore, back when my grandma would teach me how old Negro slaves, they would go to the fields and they would, you know, pick flowers and plants for the massa and they would take them back to the to the huts and they would curse the flowers and plants with uh, mice and rats and owls and Isles, I hope I said that right. <laughs> I got a problem with that. Isles, with owls and all that stuff there, of uh, crows, and they would, they would do their ritual with their various oils and whatever. They would put it in a plant and they would take it to the big house. And in the big house, the master wife or uh, the kid would accept it. And lo and behold, Everybody would start getting sick. Calamity would fall. The, the, the plantation owner, the master, and 
weak than the slaves knew what was going on because hey this is what they did and and the crazy thing and the good thing about this spell i should say the good thing and the crazy thing about this spell most people don't know how to take care of plants so if you was to give somebody a sinning tree to which i'm going to show you how to do it today if you was to gift them this sinning tree it'll only last for like it's, it'll only last as long as they can take care of it okay that's the crazy thing about it so as soon as this thing dies and gets out of their mist out of their house off their office desk off their window sill or it dies and dries up because don't nobody take care of these that's why they're so abundant at, at the seasonal time the spell goes away so this is uh again this is this spell right now is called a sinning tree a karma plant you're and the reason why people feel so so comfortable giving a sinning tree to somebody because it has nothing to do with malice or hate or anything because the sinning tree operates on that person's own karma. Whatever that person did, the sinning tree just is like a divining rod for the universe to draw in karma to pay that person back. So if that person was a jerk to you on your job, that person was a nasty neighbor. That person is just a just an all-around bad individual. You know, cut you off in traffic and y'all work in the same office building, take your office parking spot. You know, just a real douche. That's what this work. And if you see somebody being rude to somebody, this, this is the type of spell you would give to them. So, again, a lot of people say, I shouldn't say without further ado, but I just love it, that word. Without further ado... Let's get into how to create this sinning tree. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a real caution to doing this and receiving it. So let's get to it. So first thing first, what you're going to need, you're going to need a plant, mainly mainly during the holiday season and with it, right before the new year is when people tend to give these particular type of gifts. They want to give you flowers and plants and decorations for the house. You know, air goes the Christmas tree. You bring in something green living from the frost so you can have some. But people turn that into a curse, you know, to cause bad calamity in your life. And you guys should never take anything from anybody, especially plants during the holidays. Buy your own. Pick your own by your own. So you get a, you start with a poinsettia. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. That's what the lady told me at the store. I thought it, I called it uh, a cat killer. Did you know that this thing can kill cats? Cats eat it and they die. So if you got a cat, keep these things at your house. Okay. So first you want to start with a point setter. Now that you have the point setter here, you want to get a live fish, mice, bird, whatever. This is a this is a small point setter. So I go with a fish. You know, I don't see bigger one where people have done rats in my and over the years I've seen it in my family where people have used the rats. I seen somebody give somebody a whole palm tree and they caught they killed the snake, put it in the roots and wrapped it around. But that's that's some extreme that don't go away because these people plant that in their yard on their property. Enough said about that. So you're gonna need a point setter. You're gonna need a live animal, me, namely a fish, due to the size of it. You're gonna use you're gonna use some graveyard dirt. Homemade is best, but a if you got a friend, a, a local botanica, you could go there and have them give you some, some that he's made. But I make my own graveyard dirt and I keep it. This is over two, three years old. I keep it in a locked in a box, tied up in a black cloth in the corner somewhere where nothing can emanate from it. You're gonna need your black candle. <laughs> this is very important. Do not do this spell without this purple cloth. And I'll get into why the color purple cloth is gonna be so important in here. You have the, you have an eggplant. This is very important. You're gonna need this eggplant. You have some water from a ditch, sewage, drainage, anything. Just a nasty, vile, filthy water. Uh, you gotta have an apple. The apple is the apple is gonna be for uh, Papa Legba to 
give it to him in order to send a message to who this this spell is supposed to be doing with. Then you got three pennies. You're going to have to have a rusty nail. You, if you can find a bent nail, that would be better. A bent rusty nail found, not made. Found, not made. You have a hook with a piece of lead attached to it, or you could just have a piece of lead and a hook. It's very important. This is very important for the spell. All these ingredients, they are must. There's no substitutes. No substitutes. Okay, so now, now that we have that, one more thing, we have, I give you a Veve. Again, if you watch my channel, you know I, I, I believe in utilizing the Orishas the, from the Ifa philosophy, the African spiritual system. I just, I'm just connected with those. And this spell is, is dedicated, this spell will be, and during this spell, we'll be utilizing We'll be utilizing the Oya, Shenza, whatever you want to call it. If you're from Brazil, South, 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 uh, Central America, whatever they call it, you're going to be using uh, Yenza. If you're from Africa, you're going to be uh, using Oya, same entity, don't matter, just the same entity. If you're from India, you're going to be using uh, Kali, you, you know, you're going to be using Kali. So, but this is, but in the African uh, pantheon, this is her veve. This is her sign and seal. So, this is what I know, but this is what I'm going to use to call her out. And then I got various oils, so which I mentioned as I drop them in the plant. So, first thing first, what we would like to do is, I'm going to move this to the side, and I'm going to bring the plant here. First thing first. What you like to do, you would want to expose, you would want to expose your plant. You want to expose your plant and you want to make a nice deep one finger groove hole down here. Get down there good and deep. If you don't like getting dirty, use some gloves. But me, when I'm doing a spell, I like to put everything into it. I put my heart and soul in it. The gods, the deities, whatever you call them, they're going to know that my intent is in here. Key thing is intent. So first thing first you want to do before you do anything else, you want to take this rusty nail. Remember, make it hook if possible and it has to be found, not made. You can make them, but that's less energy. Find it on the ground, go to uh, 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 industrial spot where you got a warehouse and just look on the ground you'll be surprised they fall out of pallets all the time after you dig the hole in the punt set or the plant the gift the, the sending tree that you're going to give away you want to drop that net you want to drop that rusty nail in there ASAP boom first thing you do now that that's in there you're going to want to you're going to want to take the hook it's a very fast spell very simple spell going to take the hook you got to take the lead and before I drop it in there, let me tell you what the lead represents. So, Yenza, or Yah, her element is lead. She resonates with the, with the planet Saturn. Saturn's element is lead. You know, she is over, how you say, trans, transformation, storms, and everything like that. She comes into people's lives and she calls her a whirlwind. She shake up every single thing possible. And you know... But at the same time, she's shaking it up to make a positive change, you know. So that's what this lead is for. You want to give her all the elements she need to do what it is she need to do, you know. And you want to bless her and say, okay, I know your element. So what you're going to do, you got to take this lead and the hook. The hook is to clamp into whatever situation. So this is symbolic. If somebody throw it out there, whatever they throw out there, karma going to hook it and bring it back. So you want to drop that in there. Now, again, we have, you're going to need a piece of purple cloth. When you get to this purple cloth right here, this purple cloth is very important because her colors are burgundy or Yah's color is burgundy and purple. But when you get into the purple, you're getting into the ether. Same color as the eggplant because her fruit or vegetable, I don't know the difference, man. 
but her fruit or vegetable is the eggplant. And notice the dark mullion, as Italians say, color of eggplant. This is not black, this is purple, the color of ether, of the ether. So you want to take this and you want to put that in there too. Everything you're doing, you're calling down Krish, I mean, you're calling down Kali, aka Oya, Shinza. You know, you're calling down that energy. You're calling down that energy, the energy over karma, the energy over life and death, the inner energy over transformation, the energy over tornadoes, hurricanes. This is what you're calling. Now you're going to take this sewer water, storm uh, sewer water, storm water, just regular gross water. You're going to take that, shake it up really good, and you're going to pour that in here. Everything going in the same hole, by the way, good people. Less likely if somebody went to bury, went to digging around, checking for it, because you got some people that know what this is and know about gifting. You got that, and uh, so you just put it in one side. Most people, they and they don't find nothing. They just say, oh, it's a great plant. Next thing you know, they bust it. Their heart is wow. not physically hard. They just they go through heartache and suffrage. Now, now that we have that together, the fish is going to go in this plant alive because it takes a live animal to sacrifice to draw down the energies from, from the universe. And you always do a spell with a live animal. I believe I have sacrificed certain animals for various spells, but I'll never do it on camera because I don't believe in dispatching any animal on camera. But a fish, that's somewhat different because I could just pour him in the hole, cover him up. And he has to be alive when he goes in here. He or she, it, has to be alive when it goes in here. Because when the energy of that particular fish leaves, that's going to be the offering that we give to her to activate this plant. So now that we have that right there, we have that, we'll get to these at, towards the tail end. We have her Veve here. And I'm gonna scoop this out of the way because I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. So now that we have her Veve, we have the spiral circle, you know, wind, you know, atmosphere of wind to which she control. We need her to bring it down. And we always give credence to uh, Papa Lake by issue because he's a divine messenger. You know, he has to take this to her. That's and say, hey, your service is required, and you have to give him an apple with three pennies in it, to which we'll show you and take this at a crossroad. It's a nice, elaborate thing, but it works. So we take our veve, and the first thing we're going to put in here, because keep in mind, this is a scenting plant. You want them to be cursed, and you want the, and you want you basically want them to suffer a little bit or get what they deserve. I got to use the proper word. So we'll start off by doing dead man drops. It, it goes with the name Dead Man Drop. This is, these are, uh, these are representing, uh, you know, people who have lost something, you know, that's not longer here to call them. And you want to put four, four drops. They don't have to be all hardcore. They don't have to be all hardcore a lot. You don't have to saturate the paper or anything. Next, we want to use breakup. Keep in mind, this is this is not a spell we're doing as a friendly, as your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, a helpful Joe. You are going at these people because you want them to pay for something they did. Again, four nice drops. One, two, three, four. And this is breakup. If they're in a relationship and they've been doing something bad to their spouse, their mate, their partner, all that, all that shit is going to come unravel. This is hate. Nine times out of ten, if you're going to give this to somebody, you got a little bit of hate for them. Why not exacerbate it? Hey, I heard that word before. Exacerbate. 
when I first heard that word, I thought that was a new form of uh, masturbation, and I googled it, but it wasn't. I was like, "Hey, what on, what what are these people into? Let me yeah, let me see. Can I get in on the on the on the? <laughs> Never mind. All right, this is hate oil. We're gonna drop four drops here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's silly, man. Uh, Eddie, you are crazy, but it's the truth. Next, we're going to use black art oil. It is what it is, people. This is a black... I hate using this oil, but this is black art oil, and it is what it is. And then we're going to use confusion. It goes without saying, because you're going to want these people confused in everything they do. One, two, three, four. That's a couple more. So, by the way, I am not giving this to anybody. So if you see me toting the plant, if headed your direction, trust me, it's not for you. It's going in the trash, and I just ain't found the trash can quick enough because I don't I don't believe in doing this, but my spirit was telling me to do this a while back ago. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I want my channel to be, remain positive, happy-go-lucky type stuff. But the spirit told me that there's somebody out there that really needs to get revenge on somebody to allow that person to suffer and to do, you know, allow that person to suffer and catch a little bit of what they've been dishing out all year long to certain people. So I don't know. I don't know. that. I just leave it at that. So now we got what we call on fire oil because I want this person to be agitated. The more, well, you want this person to be agitated, the more strife and drama goes on in his life. His life is supposed to heat up. His mind is supposed to heat up. And you want him on fire 100% of the time. He should, he should always be angry, you know, personable, all that stuff. So now that we've put our now that we've put our oils on here and everything, I just like to fold it away from me because I don't want none of this hatred coming back to me, baby. Now, but before you do that, which I should have told you guys before, but I was just so so geared to get it done. On the back of this, I mean, I mean, you're supposed to draw her. You're supposed to draw her baby in dragon's blood or bat's blood. So this baby was strong in, in dragon's blood because I, I have it in dragon blood. It's a little bit more, a little bit more intense. And when you're dealing with something like this, you don't want the weight. You don't want the lag. You want the intensity. So you want to go. And then the person you want to give this to, you're going to write their name on the back of this. Let me let a bit of this oil drop in here a little bit. You're going to write their name on the back of the, on the back of this, on the back of this baby nine times because Oh, y'all, she's the mother of nine children, uh, you know, four of which are twins, you know, and, you know, five regular, four are twin. So, um, you know, you got to you gotta understand. So you want nine times. You want to write her name on nine times because she is the mother of all mothers. She protects. She fights. She's a warrior. She's a nurturer. She is uh, she the one you go to if you have a demand on something and you want it done, she's the one you would go to. So first thing, you want to fold this away from you. And you just want to try to fold it nine times. It's a small piece of paper. I don't know if you can do it or not, but hey, I've seen it done. And you want to turn it away from you counterclockwise. You know, two. Again, counterclockwise. Three. Counterclockwise. Four. Counterclockwise, five, six, I guess I couldn't get the nine, but you see what you see the gif. This is just a test plan. I'm just doing this to show you guys. If I did, I would have drew it on a bigger petition so I can do the nine, but I'm just doing something to make sure you guys understand how to do it. It's, this is a testing period. So once you ball this up and you put this in here, you're going to want to dig a second hole, but just with your finger again. 
dig a second hole. Because this guy right here is going to go on top of this. Because this is the petition. This is what you wanted to hear. So if, when the life force of this fish is extinguished, it's going to carry it right up there to her. So you stick that all the way down to the bottom. Stick that all the way down to the bottom. There you go. So now you would like to take your graveyard dirt. And I don't like touching graveyard dirt per se. I'm just going to be honest. And I didn't bring a spoon in here. But I'm not going to ruin the video by pausing it, getting up, going, yada, yada, yada. It is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and make a makeshift scooter. I mean, this is authentic graveyard dirt. I cooked this myself. I put, I cooked it myself. Hot, well, graveyard dirt, hot foot powder is is the same thing. But I cooked this myself, gunpowder, cayenne pepper, and that's another video. Let me tell you, it was excruciating. But you take some of this uh, graveyard dirt, hot foot powder, and you put it on top of here. You just sprinkle it around. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It don't have to go in the hole. You just add it to it. And you cover this up as soon as possible. You want to get these, keep these spirits sealed. I blessed this, by the way, I blessed this jar. It took me, uh, before I created this graveyard dirt, I blessed this jar for 30 days. I set up, I, I burnt a white candle, one of these type of white candles on top of this for 30 days. And I said positive prayer, making sure this glass was secure and protected, that no evil intent or entities could get out of this glass right here and that was a great thing so now this is what it is i barely open it and when i open it i take what i need out of here and i close it back up and the seal is there again that's just something maybe you guys can do so now that we have our graveyard dirt we have our petition in here with the name of the person written on the back of it nine times due to the fact that oya yenza uh kali is a mother of nine children Nine is her number. You put that in here. You put it on here. Now we're going to take this here fish. What's up, fishy? What's up, fishy, brother? And you want to get a fish a proper prey. You just don't dump him in. You know, you got to let her know. You know, uh, let the fish know, hey, I thank you for your sacrifice, for your service. I, In my world, you was born to be, you were born for this purpose. And now that you're here, I'm going to enact this purpose. And I thank you again for your sacrifice that you're about to make, carry my message with love and respect and kindness in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's all you got to do. You just got to give thanks to the animal that you'll be dispatching because this is a glorious moment. And you take your time. You just get them in the hole. I'm going to move this out the way. So that you guys can see him go to the hole. Get him in the hole. I'll put this over here. Oh, wow. He got out. <laughs> Y'all, hold on. <laughs> Okay, now that he's in there, what you're gonna do now, now that we put all our ingredients into this plant right here, and this is what we call a sinning tree. So I want you to know the video is gonna be titled, Be Careful of Sinning Trees. It's gonna be titled Caution in big letters, 
I'm going to say gift magic slash be careful of sinning trees this holiday season. That's what this is. So now that we got it, you take this black candle. Again, it's dark purple, black, whatever you want. But I get the black ones. It's close enough to purple because still you, you need that karmic ray. You need a negative ray to be imbued in this plant. I guess I didn't want to light like that. It looked cooler last time I did. Now, while that burn and that emanates with that, we're going to take a time. And now I'm going to show you how to prepare. Let me move this out the way. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing when it comes to the apple. So, now that that's like that, that's only one stage. There's two more stages to something like this to where you want to take three pennies. One, Two, three. Now, when you take the one out, this is how it's going to look. You take one apple, put three pennies in it, and you don't immediately take this to the crossroad to get Papa Leg Bar, it's you Leg Bar, to give the message to her because you want time for the fish to expire. So, this has to be done the very next day. When you can get yourself to a crossroad, you could be driving to work, you could throw it out your car window when you had a four way sectional stop. Or you can be a little more gentler with it. You can drive to a four way you, stop and, you know, do your, your cross and you can say the prayer and everything. But this is how the apple's supposed to look. And this is to, this is not to be going with this right here. This is to be um, left at the crossroad for Papa Legba. But a quick note, this candle doesn't have to burn all the way out. The first thing you do when you lit the candle and you lit it and set it next to it with the carcass of the fish, the, the, the offering that we dispatch, a.k.a. the fish, what is in there, only thing you had to do, you're drawing attention to it. You're shining the light from the darkness onto this light to which she knows that this is something that we're calling her to inhabit and to do her karmic justice. So you sit that there now. Most people don't know about this. If you're in the ephah tradition, you understand the significance of the eggplant. But the eggplant itself is a beautiful thing. And the eggplant is Oya's, Yen is Oya's, uh, Yenza, uh, Kali. They all the same. This is her plant. She loves them. I mean, notice the dark color, the purplish color, the color of ether, you know, outer space dark purple it's not black it's kind of purplish hue that's where she is eyes towards the cosmos you know plan and set so you want to take this right here and this you would take to a cemetery you say what exactly you would take something like this and you would just sit it by the gate of the cemetery because Oya resides in the cemetery i mean just google it these, the, the Orishas are beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful philosophy to which you can utilize the energies of each of these Orisha to, to get things done in your life. Nothing demonic that I've heard and it just tears my heart up because before, before the concept of that devil thing came into be, you know, it was all just spirituality and philosophy. That rhymes, but hey, it's true. But yes, after you take this to the crossroad, you're going to take this to a cemetery and you want to just leave it by there and you think, oh, yeah. Now, there's also a prayer that comes with this. You don't have to say the whole prayer. You, I would say, uh, I would say just you can say the whole prayer. 
it's good. And as you see, as you watch my channel, Psalms 140, it's my go-to prayer for everything. It's a lot of things in Psalms I do, I use on other stuff, but when it comes to something like this on a mass scale and a quick, hard-hitting thing, and you want God to hear you, you want the universe to hear you, you want whatever deity to hear you, you're going to use Psalms 140. Mainly the part where it says, allow allow burning coals to fall, to fall upon them, you know, unless they exalt themselves, Salah. That's, that's big. That says right there, allow everything that they did to somebody to come back on them. And that's what this is. This is a sinning plant. This is a sinning tree. This is a great thing. So, I'm kind of done with this video. I know it was quick. To me, I, it feels kind of messy. But at the same time, something was just urging me to get this out to the public. They're like, listen, it's the holiday season. You need to get this video out. It's going to be some malicious people out there that don't like you. You haven't done nothing to them. And they just don't like you. And a nasty mofo, nasty old son of a bitch, you just come up here and, hey, I got you a plant. Take it home. you taking it home thinking, okay, I'll just water it. It'll brighten up my, my living situation, my living area. And next thing you know, you done brought home a curse. Same thing. Don't let nobody give you a plant to go in your yard. My grandma used to tell me, and I get, and this is a, this is gonna be a little quick one, but it's it's necessary. So please bear with me. The spell is done. It, this is complete. If you turn the camera off right now, that's a great thing. You're done. You know you know how to do this. You know what to do. Any questions? You know the email is attached. All that good stuff. But here's a quick one. My grandma used to say back in the folklore, and I I kind of explained it to you in the beginning how they would give plants to neighbors and to the slave masters. This trickled over into our society to where you have a jealous neighbor who wants your 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 man, your boyfriend, or who done slept with your mate or whatever. They'll come to your house bearing gifts. Now they come to your house bearing gifts. Those gifts have attachments to them, curses. People have maliciously meditated on them, said things, did things to get that, to get a negative tent, and you bring that stuff in your house, and the next thing you know, you're getting divorced. Your, your kids are committing suicide or not wanting to follow instructions. You're losing this. You're losing that financial hardship. This is an old folklore, old school method of doing things. The Chinese people, they really don't give plants. And if they do, that plant sit outside for seven days and it is blessed with the sun, the rays and everything. Yeah. Same thing. Back in the day, in the old Negro spiritual songs, they got them out there. I forget which one. But just try to find something about a, a, a story about a plant. I think Zora Neale Hurston. I'm, don't quote me. Don't 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 bank me on it here. Zora Neale Hurston talked about something like this in in one of her books. But and and the old African American folklore, you know, you would give somebody a plant in hopes to tear their world up. My grandma said never accept gifts from anybody, and this is a form of gift magic. It's a real thing, man. I, 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 it's a real thing. But this is folk magic. And it has transcended throughout every culture, every race, everything. This is folk magic. For African Americans, Africans, whatever, this is folk magic. I'm pretty sure they call it something else in another form, uh, in another cultural, cultural tongue. It's called some other type of magic. But it always going down to gift magic. And this right here is a sinning tree. But yeah, they used to give plants to people to ruin marriages, to break up homes, to to just cause somebody hardship out of jealousy and spite and malice. And everybody is guilty of a sin. Everybody is guilty of a karmic law and that that's they have it. broken. So friends, that was a, I hope that was a quick video. I'm going to edit it. I know this is about 35, 40 minute video because I like to ramble a little bit. But that's just me. I, I try not to teach. A lot of people say, Eddie, you talk so damn much. But I'm a teacher. If if you ever call me up, if you ever email me and you ask me a question, I'm going to give you a fluid breakdown of the question, how to utilize it and everything so that you can go away understanding. The knowledge that I have, the knowledge that we have when it comes to the occult, it's not our knowledge. It's the knowledge for the people because we, we are one soul, one connected from one source. It's just that we splitting up into different fragments and different personality. 
And I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Before I do the little, little sign off thing, I mean, granted, it's been a minute since I've done this and I got more videos to come. This is just my first one, so I'm kind of rusty. I'm, I'm nervous at the same time because I don't know how I'm going to look on camera, but I'm not going to do too much editing because I need to see myself and I need to see the mistakes I made. So please comment on this video if you've heard about this. Please share it during these holidays. If you don't do anything else with this video, share it with your loved ones and your friends so they can understand because there's going to be a lot of nasty people at your office giving these damn things out. And when they give them out, a lot of people that you love is going to be going through hardship and they're not going to know anything about it. And for that matter, just share this video and a gift magic can be on anything. Most time people use it on receipts. So be very careful of your receipts. So I would like, uh, if you like the video, like it. If you have anything to say, good or bad, it doesn't matter. Nothing offends me because this is the spiritual world. If I did something or said something to offend you guys, let me know. I can correct it or explain it because it's all in love. It's all in making us better as a community, as a world, as a as a human race. But if you like it, like it. If you, I mean, comment, please comment, no matter what. When you watch it, comment, say good job, say horrible it don't matter. I take it all. It's all learning. And if you really, really care about anybody in, in your immediate circle for this holiday season and holidays to come, share this video with whoever you feel can benefit from it. We don't need people going around messing up our lives, starting our New Year's off wrong. And these damn things tend to come out between Thanksgiving and New Year's and you're starting the New Year's off with chaos and calamity. And it's because you have something like this sitting in your house that you accepted from a nasty old mofo who don't want to see you succeed in the first place. Enough rambling. My name is Baron Samadhi, the Alchemist. I thank you guys for watching my channel. Uh, I love this part. Remember, trust the you and universe. Because at the end of the day, you're all you got. Thank you. I love you guys. Be blessed. This holiday season, jingle bells. That was cheesy as hell, I know, but I just saw it and it came on the fly. Jingle bells. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I don't know. Feliz Navidad. I don't know any other tongue to say it in that. Kwanzaa, baby. Kwanzaa. Africa here. Kwanzaa. All right. Again. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Uh...